Welcome back to Lord of the Rings Online. I am Debats, and we are here in Coombe, ready to travel with Constable Underhill. Alright, I am ready to go. Are you? Okay, we are here in a brigand cave, uh, ready to go in. So, goodness, this place is quiet as a tomb. I wish we could just say all was peaceful and leave, but I suppose we need to do a better job of it than that. Alright, no use putting off what must be done. Come along and make sure you have your blade ready in case you run into any trouble. I will. Careful now, friend. All manner of things could be living there, here now. Defend Cuspart Hill. Confirmation, if any was needed by now. Ooh, Nika Breakers. Ah, uh, the ginger bearded man has gone. He was definitely <laughs> here when I was doing these as the captain all those years ago. Nika Breakers there. Don't need to know about that. Right, come back, open the door. Hold a moment, I have a key right here. That's a very fortunate. Yeah, these don't seem too hard. Hm. What horrid creatures. And? And? Are you fighting with your bare hands? Press on in the opposite direction. And kill. Right. Come back. Kill. Oop. And we're done. Coming here may not have been such a good idea. Hmm. I'm beginning to agree as you are too. Come on. Wow. <laughs> this way. Wow. <laughs> and they still do it to this day, even in, you know, Dol Amroth and places. Certainly, um... <laughs> certainly uh, in Path Galen, as you may hilariously remember from... Uh, <laughs> from my episodes there. <laughs> Made me laugh, anyway. It's in the highlight reel. Go and watch it. It's funny. Ooh, ding. Mm -hmm. Do I have any uh, trade points? What horrid creatures? You said that. Nope, no, no points. I think it's every odd level. The white hand will not have you, Black World. Quiet, I see something. Ed, sorry. The white hand. Um, dear, it was just the beginning. Let us wait a moment and see what happens. Right. Oh, Fourteen. <laughs> Do you get any new skill? Ah. Ah. Cuties. Cure poison. All right. Interesting. Deal with them. It looks like it's uh, cure poison on an ally, though. So presumably not to oneself. You have protected Constable Underhill. Thank God for that. Where are you going? <laughs> you couldn't have come a moment earlier, could you? For where, where are you? For that dwarf stuck through, maybe. Oh well, I suppose that's just the way of it. First, it was that Eogan saying that if we pledged to Angmar, we'd be made rich. Well, when that fell, all fell apart, a few of us decided we didn't want anything to do with Angmar anymore. We started talking to some new fellows, men who didn't, men who came up from the south. An ugly bunch they were, but at least they didn't seem likely to go raising full spirits. Pardon me. Wow. Take a deep breath before you speak. Or some such on us. Seems though Angmar didn't like the prospect of us leaving them. That that dwarf came along and you, s you see how they ended. Now I suppose the Black Worlds are at their end. Not much. Yeah. <laughs> Overly dramatic. Six out of ten. Speak to Constable Underhill. Rat. Hello, bat. What? I have no idea how he escaped this place. We'll never follow him now. You give up so easily. Well, it seems that strange dwarf escaped. How he got out of here is a mystery to me. And from what you said of the brigand's tale, that dwarf was the one we should have been worried about, not these black worlds. 
well, I suppose the Black Walls are truly broken now, but for some reason I still don't feel safe. Well, there's not much more we can do here. You best take tidings back to your ranger friend in Bree. I will. If you will allow me to travel... Woo! Hmm, well, according to that last little uh, film clip, Frodo has now left the Shire, which we knew. Uh, had lots of concerns about the nurse school. Good show, good show indeed. You sure showed those black hood rascals what for. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think. I mean, we're doing all right. We don't need like equipment that's better armor, but not in our stat. Uh, uh, <laughs> desire range. <laughs> So we'll take the most expensive, 169, 2, 172, take the hammer, fine. Mm -hmm. Good day to you. What are you still doing about here? Those black wolves are gone and like difficult. That strange dwarf might still be around, but I'll wager he went on to somewhere a bit more interesting. You should take that news onto your friend Strider in Breetown. If he sent you out here, he likely wants to know what we found. Yes, he said that. He'd probably be at the prance at yeah. Those rangers surely like their beer and the pony is the best anyway. Thanks for your help, but it's no use worrying about brigands around here anymore. Mm -hmm. Ooh, teleportation. Right, let's go in through the side entrance. Um, and he was down here. This way, and then that way, right? Okay. You have returned, and just in time. Much has happened since you left, but I have little time to relate it. The tidings you have brought me will be of great use to my men here in Breland, but there is much more immediate threat we must deal with now. While you are away, those same Nazgul you saw with Andir attacked the pony. They were in search of the travellers I have been awaiting, four hobbits of the Shire. I cannot tell you why they had such interest in my companions, but I can tell you that I will have need of your help again. Let's do the ring, Aragorn. While both you and I have seen five Nazgul, their true number is nine. Before I can take my charges beyond Bree, I must know where the other four are hiding. Would you travel to the west and speak to Lenglin? I sent him to Buckland, uh, we're going there anyway, to watch over a particular hobbit. It seems that Mr. Underhill and his friends decided to take a different path, named after a constable, and are now here under my protection. Still, Lenglin may know the whereabouts of the remaining Nazgul. He camps on a rise just north of Buckland Gate and may have seen something that will aid me. You must hurry. I cannot afford to de delay here overly long. Fine. Good. Everything's heading in the same direction. Let's get out of here, which is that way. And we'll do some of these. Okay, and just at random, uh, pressing matter, so the low banks. Bring the note to Albra, open the door, uh, low banks in Bree. And there uh, she is, burglar trainer, which aren't really used anymore, but th this is the burglar line, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. You have become a burglar of no small skill, but you and I both know that is not enough. An adequate burglar is simply not good enough if the task calls for an accomplished burglar after all. Fair enough. It might not be too late. I've just I've heard of just such an accomplished burglar, and it could be that he can give you the advice you need to become more than adequate. Then again, he might not. But there's no harm in trying. Look for Atherall Took at Adso's camp, Westerbury, between here and Buckland. If you have it in you to become a truly accomplished burglar, Atherall Took might be able to tease it out of you. Reward. Yeah, well, that seems alright. Thief and Knight. Okay, cool. That's on the way to Buckland, so that's good. Let's uh, let's um, browse the shop. <laughs> Anything we want? What is it? The gambler. We don't. That's one of our trees, isn't it? The gambler. Yeah. It's a quiet knife. Is there a quiet knife? Expert's guide to dirty fighting, level thirty-nine. <laughs> can't see the quiet knife and I don't want to buy it. Yeah, okay. Uh, ooh, and just to, uh, just to be sure, train burglar skills. Nothing. Those will all come later. 
Okay. And to the crafting hall we go, just finishing these off. Why not? Um, so who was it? Bonnie Thatcher. There. I see her. Tour of Bree. Okay, look here, another new face in Bree Town. They're not one of those swarthy southerners, but a right honest obit. This is heartening to see. Graham told me. Are there any Grahams in Lord of the Rings? There may be folks stopping in as they learned about the more important areas of Bree. Well, here it is. The Crafting Hall of Bree. We have all manners of crafters here at the Three Pharaoh. You can feel free. Free. <laughs> you can feel free to apply any trade you know within this hall. I was told to send you on to one of Bree's most precious pieces of art, the Boar Fountain, to speak to the second watcher, Heastraw, for a bit of history. You will find him just up the hill to the north at the Boar Fountain in Market Square. Roger that. And he's right outside, and there is the Boar Fountain. And I have to say, honestly, generally speaking, Bree is one of my uh, one of my favourite places just to look at. You know, it was it's a very very early on in Lord of the Rings, um, clearly, which means it's got a lot of detail and attention when they had tons of staff and lots of money, <laughs> unlike recently, which is you know, fairly skimped upon areas but um, y you know there's sort of washing washing hanging up and bridges and and all sorts of lovely goodness which is uh, you know great it's the unnecessary stuff that makes games I think I've said that before tour of Brie well well it's good to see you again I assume you're on your tour of Brie and looking for some information about the town well I am not the historian that certain other folks are but I do know a bit about the town and the reason that the boar plays such a big part in the decoration of the town I never knew so tell me when Brie was settled the area was a prime hunting was prime hunting grounds for wild boar the beast served as the primary source of meat for the first settlers if I did not put up an asterisk related picture then I should be shot and have become something of a symbol of tenacity the boar fountain was built to honor those first folk who settled Brie and used the wild boar surrounding the township as provender well now, it's a pleasure talking to you, but you want to be on your way to see the wares at Lelia's Market. Say hello to Lelia herself inside the store. It's just across the square from here to the north. Lelia, now that's a, that's a new addition, so we must have, um, hmm, must have uh, worked on this. That's Urken Brand's thing. Uh, there, I saw you. I saw you before you went. Le Lelia's Market. Lelia. Right. Where are you? Up there? Oof. Get out of my face. There we go. Mithril Trader. Tour of Bree. Oh, text. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Talk to Barlam about the promising pony. Right. <laughs> I'm sure it was important, but wow. The prancing pony. And let's just let's just take a look at it, shall we? Because, you know, I've played this game for many years and... Um, you tend not to look at the actual scenery, but there we go. Prancing Pony sign. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And there's often music events here, which is why that stage is there, I guess. Uh, but I usually see him hanging around under the steps. But, uh, not today. Today is not that day. Get in through the door. Well, oh. <laughs> and. Parliament. Okay, tour of Bree. So Mighty large number of travellers coming through Bree. You don't have the look of one of those southerners, no. Okay, talk to Lily Sandheaver at her home. Well, this is a pretty extensive tour of Bree. There she is. And I've renamed my horse to Sneaksy, by the way. Just just to keep you up to date. <laughs> right, where are you going to send me? Harry Goatley for the West Gate. Okay, well, at least he's here. Right, wow. Feel free to pause and read if oh, don't worry. if uh, if you so wish. Are you to do with the tour? You're not saying. Is that you? Harry you go to? Why are you hiding over there? What do you want? Tender luck as a fool. Think that any of us want to take our time to speak with people who will be in Bree causing no end of trouble. We should focus on affairs that he can truly handle. Get out of my sight. Talk to Watchman Cardoon if you want more help. He's right down the road to the east. We just saw him. Ooh. Guided tour. Takes forever. Yeah. Tour of Bree. 
Uh, we've got a choice, so let's read this. Greetings to Bert. Goatleaf sent you here. He's been acting queerer and queerer recently. No matter of concern, I am certain you should visit the vault next. You'll find it down the road to the south. It's a large stone building with two guards for keeping watch. Enter the vault and speak with either Ted Gardner or Maud Foxglove. Okay. Ah. Uh, there, yep. I've been here many a time. <laughs> this is definitely, um... I suppose when the game first came out and you're new, uh, this is kind of useful, I guess. Uh, tad. Tour of Bree. Welcome to Bree Vaults. We charge nothing to store many of your goods unless you want to ex uh, it's a small but increasing fee will store even more. Absolutely right. For your protection from the town guard at all hours of the day, so you can be certain your vinyls are safe here. We should have put the Frodo and pals in here, surely. Feel free to look around out front before heading down to White uh, Whitethorn's taxidermy. Why did I never do this as a captain? I mean, I've been to all these places, but never as part of a grand tour. Hmm. A tour of Bree. You see, I know it's down here. Why I looked, and it's up. Uh, it's up some steps into a door. Here we go. Get stuffed. Told ya. This is where I get my um, fish mounted. <laughs> what can I do for you? <sighs> New bold leaf cutter. Scholar's stare. All right. It's a little bit more tricky because you have to go up up a level, but <laughs> it's not that taxing. And just jump all over your furniture. Hi. Barrow Downs. Much of the history of Bree and Breedland is stored within these walls. Okay, talk to Matt Heathertoes in Beggar's Alley. Wow, man, this is going on for ever. Uh, out. There he is. I'm not even going to get off my horse. Half-starved pony. Well. Greetings. Talk to Lily Appledore at the Bree Jail. I'm going to send you to the Bree Jail for the next stop. Don't worry, though. It's doesn't like you know, rush to go. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Really? What are you doing here? Ah. That's not very pleasant. Hmm. I have never never fought anybody in Bree before. <laughs> I guess it's a dodgy area of town. What are you? Are you just children running about? Yep. Right, so this is a place I know well because this is where the captain trainer is back in the days when you had to train. There, see? Are you related? <laughs> Welcome. Oh, auctioneer. Okay, uh, that's not too far from here. It's just out here and to the right, I believe. Down here. Down at the gates. Mm -hmm. uh, talk to an auctioneer, so it doesn't matter who. You there. Tour of Bree. Hunting Lodge. End of the lane to the west. Right. We have fishing right now. Mm hmm. Lost shade. Uh, you're in here somewhere. Tour of Bree. Okay, and talk to the mayor, which you've got to do. Okay, fine. And what was the other one you had? Barrow treasure. Ooh, level 20. No, thank you. Right, so let's find uh, the mayor. High lost shade. And in. Clark? Kin oh, okay. That. Uh, notary for surnames that you can't ever get rid of. <laughs> Let's not worry about that. And the mayor, Tortbree. What okay, what's that? A 
and no one using auction houses. Okay, well then you've been to every corner of Brie. I'll say, and should be able to find your way around more easily now. With all the claims of ghosts near the south gate, brigands running folks out of Beggar's Alley, and flow, the flow of refugees on the south Brie is bustling and not in always good. The southerners are a bit of trouble that has been most concerned, more so than ghost stories from the south gate. Those stories have been about for years. I hope you have arrived here as a boon of hope to bats. Again, I welcome you to our fair town. Thank you very much. Meeting the mayor. How can I be of service? Uh, finish. Good. Brewtown to Trestle Bridge, level 20. Didn't think so just yet. Troubles Southerners, level 14. Mm, okay, I don't know what that leads to, but that's fine. But um, that's it for now, <laughs> thankfully. Finally finished the tour. Um, and so, there's n no more quests in Bree other than that one. So, we'll do that. next time we come back as the burglar, um, we'll be heading to Buckland, I'm pretty sure. We'll probably do this one first, and then, as that's the burglar, burglar quest line, and then, and then Buckland. I might do this one off camera just to see, excuse me, just to see what it's about. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care of yourself and be nice to each other. See you next time.